talking about a guy who was relentless. The number of things that he's doing mentally and physically is too much for most of us. People thought I was, you know, wasted. We were stunned to find out that this wasn't just a case of a, an off night or a few bad notes. You cannot play all night like that, this many years in a row. He's been wrestling with a hand problem, but he's been able to get through and play. And it was heartbreaking, really, to see it happen to him and to see him just stand tall and keep trying and keep trying and you know, my god i actually can't play my own music anymore hello folk old dystonia welcome to my life finally coming to terms with the diagnosis of dystonia it's a monumental change in their outlook on life and on what they do as a passion and uh, it changes them forever damn it i love this music and i love it too much to stop i don't know anyone who would do what he's doing, faced with a, with a condition like this. It's crazy. I've never heard of anyone else doing that, ever. I'm a little freaked out, but let's do it. Let's dive in head first. He's the one stubbornly Irish guy who would actually do this. It's not like walking backwards down the street or driving a British automobile. It's like learning how to speak every word in reverse phonetically. To play music again is a miracle. And I'm so lucky. You get up in the morning, and you are here for one purpose, and that is to play.